Mini Wargaming Dan here from MiniWarGaming.com. Here to bring you a World Tactica on war buggies. Now, for the life of me, I can't find a war buggy in sight. Like, I had, I thought I had one model, but it's gone, or I don't know. No one's here. Paul isn't here with his models. Anyways, war buggies, they're pretty cool. They are very, very, very underused in the orc army. I think the reason is, is because it's kind of expensive to collect their models and they, and they don't do, they're not very, I don't know, they're just a bit harder to use. Now, they are, they're weak, they're, they're vehicles and you can take them in vehicle squadrons and so you get all that, you know, that fun stuff, but because they're open topped, they, they die quite easily because an immobilized, erect, or a, explodes, kills them, and because they're open top, so then a weapon destroyed because it's plus one also kills them. So if you get a penetrating hit on any of them in a squadron, there's a 66% chance that they're done for. And so they die quite easily. And with 10 armor all around, yeah, so even more so. So, so they are quite fragile, but when you just have one or two running around, I think that's like the more effective way to choose them, unless you're like run out of fast attack choices because you have so many awesome choices. So you're bringing lots of bikes, lots of storm boys, and, and def copters, which I'll get to. And there's just, the war buggy is just kind of come in last place. They're not, not a priority. But there's a few reasons why you should bring them. Mainly, okay, so if, if you're not filling up your fast attack choices and you're, you're more lean towards the heavy support or elite, um, then, or I mean just your troops, filling them up, and you have those few points, uh, they're not expensive at all to bring. And you can bring with twin link shooters or twin link rockets. Now again, they're not, they're still at ballistic skill two, and so they still miss a lot. But they're really the, what you, like they can do damage and they can run around and you know, cause ruckus, but you wanna always upgrade them to a war track. And so if they're running over difficult terrain, they can reroll, and so they're not getting immobilized and destroyed or whatever because you want to keep them mobile and they can like block line of sight sometimes. And then they're kind of small. So they don't really block line of sight so much as just make it so it, you're just a nuisance. And sometimes it's just fun to just, you just run them right up in front of a squad and be like, I'm here. <laughs> Even though you went all out, you can't shoot, but they're there. And all of a sudden that squad can't move forward until they assault you. And so they wait, so instead of moving forward and running and maybe assaulting something else, they have to just kind of sit there and they kind of have to half move around and then assault and kill it. Maybe it'll explode, kill some guys. Uh, even if they shoot it, it's just their movement is wasted that way. So you can, you can do that way as well, just to slow different armies down. Can get a little expensive if you upgrade them at all, but you gotta be very inventive with war buggies. The, the main thing with war buggies though is the Scorcha. Scorcha, is heavy flame template. So you get a couple of scorches and you're running around and they're, you know, you don't want to really shoot a whole squad of them. It's just like one little war buggy, right? Or and if you're keeping them, they're small so you can keep them behind cover, like behind like a little hill and you can't even see them, you can't even target them. And all of a sudden, and when you upgrade to a scorcher, it also automatically upgrades to a war track. And so you don't have to spend all those extra points, just one upgrade and you're good. And so you run those scorches right over difficult terrain. Who cares? You just run up, you just, Again, get right up in their face, but this time, so it's just, you just munch on oh guys. No, it's the most effective when, because it's AP4, so you want like things that don't have that kind of save or less of a save with like strength five, you can just, you can cause a lot of wounds, especially when someone's clumped up or you just get the right angle and you can just choose it. So you just, you just it's kind of a suicide maneuver. But if you do move that full 12 and shoot, it's sixes to hit them still. And so if it's a smaller squad, there's still a chance that they're not gonna kill you. And then you have that next turn. If they charged you, they're all clumped up right beside you. And then you can just move up and scorch again. And I'll, I'll just go ahead and show you guys. And again, I apologize for the lack of war buggy model, but these bikes have decided, you know, to stick together. They, they welded their bikes together and have made a war buggy. And they mounted a scorcher in the middle. A lot of times what you can do is now war buggies can move up to 12 inches. So, you know, they can easily 
So they have, you have a couple options. You can run over here, you know, and, and get a template off, and you can get just about all of them minus one. Or if they aren't really a close combat, or if you think they're going to end up charging you, then what you can do is you can run into difficult terrain. Okay, and you need to roll double one, so hey, we're good. Okay, and then you can shoot your template, maybe you like move them, just make sure you get it. And so you can get, you know, all but three, so you're not doing as much damage. But then you're in difficult terrain. Okay, and so if they have to charge back to you, then they're going to have to charge into difficult terrain. Or, it, so it all depends. And so this, remember that option is available to you. Or if it's more complicated terrain like this, you know, you can run right up, and so you even get a cover save. And so obviously it, it's very dependent on the situation. But be aware that sometimes positioning yourself so you can survive a lot better, even though you only hit, not, so you hit, like, you know, that's like 30% less guys. That's fine because you'll be able to shoot another turn. Or if they have to charge and, or attack you and they just they really want to get rid of it, then they force themselves into difficult terrain. And so even though this explodes, and you know now these guys are in difficult terrain next turn, oh. and so if they need to move, all of a sudden they're a lot slower and you're bogging them down. And so it, the war buggies not only are meant to do damage, or scorches aren't the damage, but they're also they're meant to distract and bog down and just annoy the crap out of your opponent. And that's the most effective way to use a war buggy or a scorcher. Now, by all means, if you can get that money shot where it's just like a combat just ended and they only got like one inch consolidation or, or they just blew up a vehicle where they don't get to consolidate and they're all clumped up and you can just run in there and hit like 15 guys with a scorcher, by all means, do that. <laughs> because you're gonna do a lot more damage with that one shot than hitting a few and then hopefully you're surviving. So. It's, it really depends on the situation, but war buggies, again, there's, they're really underused because they are meant to, it's not so much cause damage, but just cause a ruckus among the enemy army. Just distracting them, and if you don't do it perfectly, they can easily get picked off or blown up, and they're not gonna do a whole lot for you. But because they are so weak, the odds of them blowing up are that much higher. So remember that. And so if you can park yourself right beside a squad or right in front when you know you're going to die, then you can also, from the explosion, you might be able to cause a few more casualties. Because they are a vehicle. So war buggies, they're fun, they're fast, they're cheap. And they're so orky. And you just, you just get in there, get in that army, and have fun. But besides that, I mean, war buggies are pretty simple. So... Have fun. Next, what you've all been waiting for, or a lot of you, because you guys love Defcopter, so click right here for Defcopter Tactical.